Hello you beautiful people out there. Welcome back to Tense of It. Today we will be creating this custom linkage component. So, without further ado, let's get started. As always, we will start by saving the file. I will call this one day 5 mechanical shape. I will just be focusing on the general understanding of how to create this model and not on precise measurements for manufacturing aspects. But the same process can be applied. We will create a base shape of a model by creating a sketch and then selecting the bottom plane. Let us take the rectangle tool and create a square right from the center of the plane of 2 by 2 inches. We will also create a circle from the center of 1 inch. Let's finish the sketch. We will then extrude the outer portion of the circle by 0.5 inches. All we need to do now is create the curvy side. We can simply do that by taking the fillet tool, then select this face and give it a fillet of 1 inch. I will add a bit of chamfer around the hole. To do that, we can go to the chamfer option under modify. Let's then select these two edges of the holes and add chamfer of about 0.05. There you go, our base shape is ready. We can now start creating copies of this and placing them where we need them to be. To do that, we will select the move tool under modify and then select the body we need to move, which is currently our only shape. Then move it up by 0 0.5 plus 0 0.2. So if you remember, 0 0.5 was the extrusion we gave to the sketch and 0.2 is the distance I need between the top face of the first body and the bottom of the second. Make sure to have the create copy checkbox selected, then hit OK. Perfect, we have one side of our twisted linkage part. We now need to mirror it on the other side. But before doing that, I will move both these bodies away from the center of our grid so that we can select the environment plane as the mirror plane. So to do that, we can go to the move tool again and this time, we will select both bodies and move them by minus 2 inches from the center on the x-axis. Perfect! We can now mirror them. So under the create menu, we have the mirror option. Let's select both the bodies. And in the mirror plane, let's select the YZ plane and hit OK. We now need to rotate these two bodies right from the center of them. But before we can do that, we need to create the axis. To do that, we can select the sketch tool and then select the YZ plane. We will do some simple geometry to get the axis where we need it. But if you have a better way, then please let me know in the comments. The idea here is to get the midpoints of these two bodies. Now, when we take the line tool and hover near the midpoint region, we as usual, don't get any sort of intersections or anchors. To get those, we need to project these bodies onto the sketch. The menu can be found under Create, Project Include, and then Project. Or you can use the shortcut P. Let's select the two bodies quickly and hit OK. There you go, we have our points. We can now start drawing the line from the midpoint to the midpoint of the other body. So from here to here. Let's turn it into a construction line. and then draw a circle right from the midpoint of this newly drawn line. Note that the diameter doesn't matter here. We just need an axis that passes through the center of the circle, as this circle is right in the center of the two bodies. So, its center is the dead center point. We can do that by going to the construction menu and then selecting Axis perpendicular to face at point option. The face will be the circle itself and the point will be its center. Note that we need to select both the face and the point here. As the option says, if we only select the face, then it will not let us hit the OK button. Let me zoom in and select the center. There you go, we have our axis. Let's use this axis to rotate our shape now. 
Taking the move tool again and then selecting both the bodies, we will select this rotate option from here. So it gives us this axis option. Let's select it and select the axis we created. Now we can use this handle to rotate the bodies. I will rotate it by 90 degrees. We can hide the sketch and the axis as we don't need them now. The only thing that remains to do is to align this face with this face and the same with the other body. It is very simple to do this. All we need to do is go to the modify menu and choose align. Then select the faces to align, which is this one right here and the other one. There you go, it's aligned. Let's do the same with the other side. Perfect. We are done getting the bodies in the perfect place we need. Now the only thing that remains is to join them with the curvature we need. By the way, if you guys have liked my explanation, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, comment and share, hit the bell icon to stay updated. Your support helps my channel continue to deliver high quality Fusion 360 videos. Since this video is getting long, I will continue this in the next part. So don't let the concept fade and jump right into the next part.